guys, this is Megan Hilt, and this is the last time hopefully you will see me with this crappy lighting again. I just keep losing track of when the sun is up, and then I go to film, and it's too dark. So, you know. This is my November favorites. Hopefully I will be able to get this up not too late, but let's jump into it because I don't have a lot of time. So my favorite palette, again, I think this was probably in last month's, is the Affirmation Palette by Makeup Revolution London because it's just perfect and beautiful and everything. So that is my favorite palette by far. I love it. So I've been liking cream eyeshadows, but just using them as eyeshadow bases. And my favorite ones have been these from Flower Beauty. So we have the, and these are called Color Play Cream Eyeshadow. This one's called Rest on Your Laurel. This one is called Good as Marigold. This one is called Flirty Florette, which is like my favorite. It's so pretty. And then this one is called Awesome Blossom. So I love those. Those are so great. I'm wearing um, uh, Rest on Your Laurel, right? Yes, I'm wearing that one now. Okay, I have been mostly using my powder foundation, my Ulta powder foundation, because I've been doing a lot of work and I've been sweating, so I've just been easier to use this. Probably really oily right now. And I've also been using the crap out of my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Natural. This is a really good concealer, guys. Like, it really is. You can find it at Beauty Supplies for decently cheap. Oh, everything's getting all mixed up. Oh, so I got a new eyeshadow base. Um, eyeshadow base. Uh, no, no, not eyeshadow base. Uh, transition color. I got a new transition color because my other one had been running out. But I got this Ulta eyeshadow in Camel, and it's a really good transition color for me. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Moving on to contour things. I've been using the Color Icon Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee a whole lot during this month. I've rediscovered how much I love it. It's actually very, very good. I don't like the highlight as much as I like the contour. I've also been using my Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. And I got this in Ipsy a while back, and I like using it as a contour. I also really like this brand new Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer from Too Faced that I got in that Christmas set. I really like that. I'm wearing that now, and I really like it. Um, blushes. Really just one blush has been, I've been using, you know, a ton this month, and that is the Makeup Revolution, the Matte Blush Powder in Nude. Looks like this. It's so pretty, so simple. I'm wearing it now. Very nice. Very natural. Everything's getting all mixed up, so I'm getting confused what I've shown. Oh, I've also been loving this Majorette um, cream blush from Benefit. It's a nice product, but mostly I just love looking at it and how cute it is. <laughs> That's ridiculous, what I do. And, oh, every time I've worn a bronzer, even if this doesn't really count as a bronzer really, but I wear it a lot because it just makes me look glowy and beautiful. And this is Tiki from Hard Candy. And it is just a nice bronzer highlighter if you have fair skin like I do. Then I have been loving two uh, vivid baked highlighter powders from Makeup Revolution London. And they are Peach Lights and Radiant Lights. They look pretty similar. I've been using Peach Lights more. Um, I'm wearing Peach Lights now onto lip products. So, I love this little Urban Decay sample of the Jilted lipstick. It's so pretty. I have, I'm just gonna, it's gonna last me years because I'm only, I only use it on special occasions. Oop. I wore it on Thanksgiving and I remembered how awesome it was. I have these two new matte lipsticks that I really like. Uh, this one is in Eden and it's this really nice dark red and then this one is in Tea Rose, and I'm wearing it now, and I really like it. And then, oh, this is a great product. This is the NYX Vamped Up Lip Top Coat. It just takes any lipstick you're wearing or lip product, and it makes it vampy. It vampifies it, and um, I highly recommend that. Uh, my Melted Too Faced Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Candy. I got that in the same collection with the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and this is really good. 
really, really good. And my last lip product is the, just in general, my glazed lip paints from LA Girl. Um, this represents all of them, all 18 or whatever. This is my favorite. This is blushing. So very pretty. Um, and the very last, oh, no, I have two more. The very last product that I've been absolutely loving this month is the Hado Labo Tokyo Skin Plumping Gel Cream. I've mentioned it before. Very, very good product. I feel like I look a lot younger. I hope. <laughs> and then, okay, you guys ready for the cuteness? I got this Kermit the Frog backpack. I use it as a purse. So cute, right? Oh, so cute. Do you guys see how cute that is? I wish I could do a Kermit voice. I would like totally do the thing. And I do have one more favorite to add, but I can't physically show it to you. But I have recently finally gotten into Doctor Who because all of my friends were like, you need to watch Doctor Who. And I was like, eh, eh. So I finally started watching it and I really like it. I think I'm at the, ooh, my eyelash. I think I'm at the finale of season one. And oh, I really like it so much. I like the guy who plays the doctor, the doctor. Christopher Eccleson, is that his name? I really like him, Chris Eccleson. Oh, very funny, very good. So that is all of my November favorites. Yeah, I just thank you so much for watching. This is Megan Hilt out.